let's have an introduction about the objects so previously also we have discussed about a nominal introduction of these objects also now we have discussed about the arrays and the different types of array methods available these are all the things we have discussed let's move on to the another thing that is nothing but an objects which are very important so we already know about the object how we will be declaring this object so how we will be declaring the objects for example let's say that we are having a where person is equal to name Leela I can have and I can say that location or otherwise we can say that uh, uh, anything so location so USA or something like this I can have like this we can have it so this is an object now if I want to print this object so we can use it you can use it like this <coughs> so we are able to get it not only like this we can also use something like I can also use object inside an object also I can use it for example let's say that details and return this one is an object and here I can have an hobbies and this one will be an array let's say cricket basketball so like this also I can have and again I can have something like age which will be of something like this also I can keep it so now numeric array combinations also I can use it now if I try to print the same object we are able to get the output so this is the basic of the object thing not only this one we can also have a method also for example let's say that get text I can have this one is a property name and here I can have a function and in this function I can write console.log so here we need to keep a comma console.log hello world so I can use like this also now if I try to print the same thing so if I try to print the same thing we are able to see this one all so get test is a function these are all the things we are able to see so fine now if I want to access this one so we know that we can access with one person dot name so we have seen it this one also so we are able to get it for example I want to access this method means uh, this function means I can use person dot get text now I am able to get the output of hello world but here I am trying to do the console.log but this one is not returning anything that is the reason we got it as undefined so leave it that one is a separate thing now for example let's say that this one name instead of this one I want to keep first name okay so this one is not valid when you are using a special characters like hyphen these are all the things when you are trying to use we cannot use it for the property name so if you want to use means you need to encode this one in a single code single quote or double quote anything so now here I want to access the first name so if I want to access the first name I cannot call it like this first hyphen name so this one will returns again nan so in this scenario you need to use square bracket like this which we have discussed it earlier okay so like this we need to use so these are some of the things which you need to remember in the mind while declaring an object so if you don't have anything so there is no need so now you can remove this one all and you can remove this one all and you can have them. or otherwise for this name also you can give a single quote not a problem that is not a problem but for the shortcut we will not give this double single quote and another thing also I told you that we will be if you have a key with the name means so you cannot use this one person dot key like this okay we cannot use this person dot key so if you try to see person dot key means then if I try to see the output you will get it as an undefined why because it is searching for the key property in this object so we should give something like of key so these are the different ways where we will be using the square bracket <coughs> string like this so these are all the different uh, scenarios where we will be using this object in different ways okay so we can also have a method we can also have a um, arrays we can also have this one so these are all the things also we can have it so this is about the brief introduction of this object thing okay so now not only like this so this is one method of creating an object okay this is one method of creating an object not only like this we can also create an object in a different way also so which is supported so for example let's say that where another person I am creating an another one where another person is equal to new object like this also we can create it this object is a built-in method that is present in the javascript I told you right new array like this also we can create it in the same scenario we can also use the new object so where another person is equal to new object so 
so now here i can write another person dot name is equal to so i can give another name something like john or something like this and i can give another person dot age i can give it as 30 or something like this or otherwise 23 or something so now this is also one way of creating an object this is also valid only not a problem okay now if i try to console dot log another person let's try to see console dot log of another person if i try to see the output then also i am able to get the same output if i try to see console uh, console dot log of person then also we are able to see the output so this is also one way of representing uh, creating the object and this is also one way of creating the object which one is preferable means most of the times we will be using this way of notation only why because this is more easy to understand by seeing this object we are able to understand that okay these are all the properties available and these are all the values for the property name and this is a function like that we can able to understand it whereas this one it is a series of statements so we need to understand that from okay from where to where this object uh, initialization is there we need to understand it but here we can able to see it very easily so this is about another way of creating an object so there is also another way how we can create an object also there are so many different ways creating an object so this is normal nominal way of creating an object i will try to show you another way also let's say i am having a where person is equal to name is equal to leela i am having and i am having age 30 okay so these are enough so this is a person now i am having where another person so here i can have object dot create so here we'll be having like this and in this one i will create a i will add a null so we'll discuss about this null what is this null and here i can have another person dot location is equal to so usa i am adding let's try to write console dot log another person so i am using this another person now if i run this one see we are able to get the same thing like an object location usa i am able to get it but now let's see that what will happen now if i try to use this null instead of using this null i will use this person inside this one so i am using this object inside this one if you try to see here what will happen let's see now i am trying to print the another person so now if you try to see here the output what is happening here whatever the properties are there in this person those all the properties are shared by the another person and now another person is inheriting all the properties for, from the person here so that means another person is nothing but so it is having a name leela age 30 and location also usa we are having okay so now this one is called as n so this is nothing but an inheritance one kind of inheritance so we are in we are creating a parent class or something like that parent object and we are creating another child object and we are inheriting the properties or whatever the properties we are having inside this person into this another person so this is nothing but one kind of inheritance so this person is called as an here prototype okay so this one is called as an prototype so this is another way of creating an object so this one we are make use of this another person and we have inherited the person property into this another person so this person is called as an prototype so this is the basic introduction of this prototype so prototype is nothing but inheritance so we are using the inheritance concept we are inheriting the object into an another object so this person is called as a prototype so let's try to see about what is this prototype and how obvious these prototypes are useful let's try to see it in the next sessions we'll try to see it so just we have uh, gone through a basic introduction of this prototypes concept